Are you counting us out? You know how it works, so ready, go. Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Not so easy, is it? Hello! Welcome back to What's Safe Word? I'm Amp. I'm Mr. Christopher. And today, we're talking about some buzzkill. Buzzkills! Are you a bee? <laughs> no! So we've all been there. We're getting hot and heavy with someone, you know, we throw them on the bed, we start looking in each other's eyes, you pull in for the kiss, you're getting super intimate and super close, and then they yell, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Or they have bad breath. <laughs> Those are buzzkills. <laughs> not saying you, puppy. Not you saying you. <laughs> no, Can no. Can I get another co-host in here? Do we have buzzkills are things that distract you from a scene or the enjoyment of having fun with your partner because they're so distracting, they turn you off. And so this week, we're gonna talk about the different kinds of buzzkills, from verbal buzzkills, compromising position sorts of buzzkills, to sensation buzzkills. So let's start with verbal. Some people, they get turned off by feminine or masculine words like slut or bitch, or that can just jar someone into a bad space. And sometimes, even racial slurs, bad words, or swearing can be a buzzkill. Like, F you, you are Like that? Yeah. Some buzz kills can even be as simple as just a phrase with a certain tone or direction or aggressiveness to it. Like, let me kiss you, baby. Once I even had a model walk off the set because his partner called him baby and only his, his real life partner, partner called him baby. So it was a buzz kill for him. And the next is sensation. This can be from touching to smells. Odors are big for people. Some people like body odor, some people don't. And sometimes it's not even a, a body odor that's bad. It's just like a, an unclean sort of odor. But daddy smells good, right? Yeah, smell daddy. Yeah. I actually did that to someone who was tied down and his partner across the room was like, like <laughs> oh, because oh. he was not into smells and nobody told me. Touching is another sensation that's very sensitive and can be a buzz kill. Some people are very hardwired to certain parts of their bodies, while others are not. D d d nope. And some people may have an injury or be ultra sensitive about a part of their body. Like slapping or some sort of physical abuse to the face because it's a very sensitive area. And it could be a trigger from childhood or something. Ooh. And then there's taste. A lot of time we like to kiss, we like to lick each other's bodies, so lotions, oil would kind of be a buzzkill. Puppies like to lick a lot, so. <laughs> when did you have lime? And then there is sound. Music can sometimes be a great, great stimulator. It really gets it's people going. A small world and then after other all. times it it's just tends a small to world get after really after annoying. It's it's a small world world. After and it's funny you should mention that song. I actually have a friend who was playing with a new scene partner, a new play partner. The play partner was a little naive and he said, Oh well, I don't I don't have any limits. I do whatever, do your worst. And so he put him in a sleep sack and put soundproof headphones on and blindfolds and played It's a Small World After All for four hours. It's a good torture scene. <laughs> he had limits after that. <laughs> That'll teach you. And finally, the third section, compromising positions. Uncomfortable toys or bondage positions with your scene partner that are so distracting that you're not having a good time. So imagine you're playing with a new dom, it's getting really, really hot. He's got, you know, tied spread eagle, gagging your mouth, comes over with that hood to put it all the way over your head. And as he slips the hood on, your ear accidentally goes down like that. And now you've got this awful distraction for the entire scene. Compromising positions are super important to be aware of. Or when you're playing with someone new and you introduce a new toy, you don't know that they would like or not. I once had someone tied down and I put a ball gag in his mouth. After I took it out, he's like, mm, I hate ball gags. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes people just have areas of their bodies that are off limits. It might just be a toy story where they stick it in the back, but it's actually a buzz kill for your Woody. Are you talking about cars? Different franchise entirely, but I appreciate that you almost got the pun. Good job. Good, good job. Anyway. Good job. <laughs> 
And tops, be aware if your bottom's cleaned out before the scene, because if you penetrate them and they haven't, that can be a big buzzkill for a bottom. And maybe it's even the non-consent of a situation just escalating that turns someone off. You think that you're really into this scene all of a sudden and you pull out this giant fisting toy and your bottom's just like. So how do you handle these situations when you're in a scene and you're experiencing something and you don't know whether you should speak up or not? Sometimes preemptive communication is the real key of the situation. You have negotiation, you talk about what's on the table, what's off the table. When I tie up a new boy, I actually ask, what are your buzz kills? Because I don't want to get halfway through the scene and realize he doesn't like my body odor. Just that one time. So sometimes you can just power through. If it, the distraction's not too much or if you know that that song is going to end and you don't want to break up the scene, just kind of wait that one out and see what the next song is. And sometimes avoiding that buzzkill might be as easy as deflecting. Maybe someone's touching you in your, the area that you don't like and you just, you not know. touching. You can't be mad. Where else? Can't, not touching. <laughs> and you just let them, you know, you touching. let them know that that's, you direct their hands somewhere else. And oh, oh, that's it. Okay. Deflection. Okay, we can do that. Ooh, ooh, ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> and finally, communication is incredibly important when it comes to buzz kills. Whether it's before or after the fact, you just need to be very clear about what you like and dislike. And don't take things personally. If someone doesn't like their nipples played with, it has nothing to do with you. And maybe it's even as simple as just like bad breath or body odor. <sighs> Be kind to your partner and let them know, but don't be mean about it, you know? Just be like, Hey, did you shower this morning? And speaking of showering, if you're playing with a newbie who doesn't know about cleaning out, what would you do? You let them know. They, they'll be super embarrassed. You where, communicate. Where would they find out about such a thing? On the internet? I don't know. I mean, and at the end of the day, we're all human. We have quirks, wants, needs, and dislikes. But if you happen to run into a buzzkill, always have a safe word. Today's safe word is... Scat. That's not what I was talking about. Don't, they, don't Google it. So leave a like down below if you enjoy having Christopher on here. He's definitely not a buzz, not a buzzkill. Not at all. Or leave a comment, tell us what your buzz kills are. Ooh. And we'll see you guys next time on What's a Safe Word. Bye! Buzz kills. <laughs> Help. Help. No. Not consensual. Not consensual. <laughs> no, no, no. Ah! You like that though? Come back! <laughs>